And the fourth path to sustainable development, as I mentioned, public-private partnerships. You hear the propaganda of the public-private partnerships nightly on your television as their commercials keep telling you to go green. And they use Congress to build more wealth and power. GE and Sylvania used their partnership with government to ban their own product, the incandescent light bulb, and replace it with the new green bulbs. By next year, you won't be allowed to buy 100 watt incandescent bulbs. Why? Because GE and Sylvania make three times as much from the new ones because they're more expensive. Such is the reality of green industry. The truth is, there would be very little legitimate green industry if not for the billions of dollars in grant money shelled out to the partnership to develop alternative energy schemes. In fact, wind energy may well be the least sustainable and least eco-friendly of all electricity options. It possibly requires more energy to manufacture, haul, and install these monstrous windmills and their transmission systems than that windmill will generate in its lifetime. And yet, the nation, in the name of sustainable development, is investing everything in our future to enforce windmills and other alternative energy over real energy providers. Alternative energy amounts to less than 1% of our energy needs, even though they've been working on it for over 40 years with billions of dollars of our tax dollars. And for every green job created, two of the legitimate industry are lost because of green rules and regulations. America has now discovered that it has a near infinite amount of shale oil in literally every state. Rather than celebrate our good fortune to reduce gas prices and eliminate our dependency on foreign oil cartels, the sustainableness are rushing and a near end to block the drilling of shale oil. Moreover, recent government reports show we have more than two trillion barrels of untapped oil under American soil, unt untapped and banned because of sustainable policy. To the sustainable elite who loathe competition in free markets, such a change in the status quo is terrifying because their control is highly profitable for those industries as they take the tax money through the public-private partnerships. And now, there's a new kind of corporation developed through public-private partnerships. It's called benefit corporations. If you're taking notes, write that down. Benefit corporation. As my friend Michael Shaw, a free man, gets described, Imagine a legislative brotherhood of business where favored businesses get to go to the front of the line for permits, licenses, and opportunities merely because they agree to advance the principles of sustainable development in Agenda 21. Six states already have benefit corporation legislation. Hawaii, Virginia, Maryland, Vermont, New Jersey, and New York. And five more are in the process of making it part of their state corporate legal system, including California, Colorado, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. This policy will destroy free enterprise and guarantee that we cannot stop Agenda 21. 